Tulane experts contributed to some of the nation's top stories. Here's the latest Tulane News in Review. Tulane Russian architecture historian William Brumfield talked to the New York Times about the unique design of a World Cup stadium. Tulane Chief of Cardiology Dr. Robert Hindell talked to NPR about new recommendations for patients at low risk for heart disease. The story was shared by NPR affiliates around the country. How do you count deaths from a hurricane? Tulane Disaster Operations Instructor George Haddo told the Associated Press no government agency has a good handle on it. ABC News, The Houston Chronicle, and other outlets around the country shared the story. The Wall Street Journal reached out to Tulane School of Social Work's Katherine Burnett about the rise in suicides among people ages 45 to 64. Trauma expert Charles Figley spoke with Yahoo Lifestyle about the deaths of Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain and the teenage daughters dealing with the losses. Mother Jones interviewed Tulane cardiologist Dr. Keith Ferdinand about why African Americans are more likely to die of heart disease. A new study by School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine researchers Dr. Jung Ha and Joshua Bundy found hard drug use causes disease progression and early death in chronic kidney disease patients. Drugs.com covered the story. Tulane historian Walter Isaacson wrote an article for Time magazine remembering restaurant matriarch Ella Brennan. He also reviewed a new book about Gerald Ford for the Washington Post. On Point interviewed sports law program director Gabe Feldman about sports betting. National News Service Newsy interviewed immigration law expert Layla Halas, a story picked up by Scripps owned stations around the country. Time magazine praised Jesmyn Ward's speech at this year's commencement. The Associated Press and more than a dozen other news outlets announced the hiring of Brian Edwards as the new dean of Tulane's School of Liberal Arts. The Washington Times interviewed geologist Alex Kolker about the first climate refugees in Ile de Jean Charles. Inca skull surgeons had a better success rate than American Civil War doctors, according to a new study involving Tulane anthropologist John Verano. Live Science published the results of the research, a story picked up by Fox News, Science Magazine, and Smithsonian.com. That's all for Tulane News in Review. Thanks for watching.